We know bass love this lure, and when rigged, wacky style, you could probably argue it is one of the best presentations of all time. But why? We are going to break down the science behind bass feeding behavior, how this simple setup makes the most of it, and hopefully how we as anglers can have even more success with a wacky rig by keeping these bass behaviors in mind while fishing it. The research for this video comes from an In Fisherman article titled Bass Strike Savvy by Steve Quinn, in which bass researcher Ralph Manns was interviewed. The following from the article gets to the heart of why a wacky rig stickbait is so successful. Bass and their prey are well balanced, and most prey are hard to catch. Successful bass eat enough to grow, while prey species avoid being consumed often enough to grow, spawn, and reproduce. Experience teaches bass from an early age that prey often escapes. When biologists conduct diet studies, they flush out stomach contents to identify prey. And many studies report that about half of the bass caught by electrofishing have nothing in their gut. We talk about the idea of calories in versus calories out on this channel all the time. Well, obviously for a bass to survive, let alone get big, they must be on the positive side of that delicate balance. In most waters, bass can't afford to pass up a good feeding opportunity. Manns talks about the refusal of lures, while of course having multiple factors. One of the big ones is because they are out of range. Now think back to that electrofishing study that many bass tested had empty stomach contents. Manns therefore says that most bass are somewhat hungry, but in a non-feeding mode while conserving energy as they await the opportunity to feed when success is more likely. The key here is when success is more likely. Now think about a wacky rig, whether it looks like a dying bait fish or whatever, one thing is certain, it must present a very high success probability for bass that see it. The strike zone or the distance a bass is willing to cover increases when their instincts tell them the odds of success are higher. A slow sinking wacky rig fits that category perfectly. And as a result of this, have you ever noticed that even if your cast is not exactly where you want it, a wacky rig stick bait still gets bit, even if it's farther from the cover you were targeting? This once again lets us know as anglers that the willingness of a bass to travel to hit that lure or presentation aligns with the high success rate of attack. So what are some ways we can play off of this instinct? How can we entice bass to be even more likely to see this as an opportunity for a high rate of success? Well, one thing that jumps to my mind instantly is contrast. And by that, I mean, can we make the lure stand out from the background even more? If the bass can see it farther away and register it as an easy meal because of that slow sink, can we increase that strike distance a little bit more. I think it's definitely worth a try. Something else I think we can use to our advantage is the willingness to use a wacky rig in a little deeper water than maybe we normally do. If the waiting for a wacky rig to sink in deeper water doesn't sound like fun, adding a little weighted hook can help speed up the process a little, but still offering that incredible sinking shimmy that shouts easy meal. Or if you don't want to use a weighted wacky hook, maybe try some of the bigger stick baits like the six inch versions. This will help you present that lure to some deeper water fish. And by deeper water, I'm not necessarily referring to super deep water, but a wacky rig is often used in the shallows almost exclusively. Well, maybe hitting the outside edge of a weed line in 10 foot of water could be the ticket to catching a better quality fish or letting it sink all the way down along some dock posts that are in deeper water. And hey, if you'd like to watch a video on the chatter 
tube. Go ahead and check this one out right here. I think you'll find it interesting. And make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.